You're very competent and valued, Philippa. But I've decided you are at the right level for you. Are you actually reading from an HR manual? No, no. What would improve things at work? A penis. You can have mine. I'm not really busy these days. Mom, what are you doing? You're coming to the theatre with me. My kingdom for all! I actually felt quite sorry for him. I'd quite like to visit his grave. There isn't one. Are you sure you want to join this group? You look quite normal. I'm not. Do you have any books on Richard III? We have eight titles. I'll take them. Which ones? All of them. I know you're some sort of apparition. I've been trying to work out why you're here. I wonder if it's because you're lost. I know I can find him. Who? Richard. Richard who? Sorry, uh, the third. The king? Yes. This is starting to look like an unhealthy obsession. I can't believe you just said that. I'm doing this for you. Plenty have tried and failed. Well, I wish you the best of luck. How can you possibly find him on your own? The key is in the city archives. All the information I need to find him, well, it's all out there. But I don't think anybody's brought it all together before. If your research is accurate, he's now right in the middle of a car park. Can you tell me what that letter represents? Just means reserved. Of course. I have the strongest feeling this is a very important historical site. A feeling is what you get when you sit on a bus seat that's still warm. I will fight you all the way on this. I want to dig for Richard. It's the body of an adult male. Boys, your mother's just found Richard III. <laughs> and I'm here today to tell you a story about a person who is judged unfairly in life. Sorry, Graham, I can't help noticing your hair. Well, it looks a lot like Richard III's. Yes?